Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to our XCOM 2 Commander playthrough. Uh, as you can see, we're ready to uh, get to investigating the Advent Black Side in Operation Frozen Sleep. And I kind of made a, a slight adjustment. I removed um, Humongous in favor of another sharpshooter, so Vinny is going to join us. I also bought some blue screen rounds, so that might come in handy against robotic enemies. Uh, just in case there are a lot of those. Uh, so there we go, two sharpshooters, two rangers, specialist uh, Benito Buffon and Grenadier Ulrich Edel, all ready to kick some alien ass. Here we go. Because we've been uh, postponing this mission for a while now, but uh, not much longer. Today we're gonna finish everything. Or die trying. Because if we fail this mission, it's pretty much game over. Because um, we only have a day left until the Avatar project completes. So if we fail this, it's game over completely. Our contacts in the local resistance have shown us how to access the Advent Black Site. The aliens worked hard to keep this place under the radar. And we don't know what we're going to find in there. Keep your heads up. Expect heavy opposition. So, recover any valuable information or items and extract all XCOM soldiers. I don't think there's a timer on this mission. Well, not at the start anyway. But uh, it's a big one. It's a really, really big one. It's only marked as difficult, so I suppose that we're not going to get that difficult of enemies, of enemy types. Um, but there will be a lot of them. I think there's always a lot of them on this mission. So, yeah... I'm really not joking, if we failed this, it's game over. If we failed to, um, well, eventually destroy this facility, then yeah, the Avatar project will complete and humanity will be doomed. But we're not going to let that happen, of course. We're uh, ready to get things going. Here we go, look at that, right next to the facility. So... Confirm the black site is in your immediate vicinity. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. And then evacuate over there at the other side of the complex. And that was a long way. Uh, so yeah, no marker, no uh, timer just yet. So yeah, let's move everybody up. Moving to designated coordinates. So especially the first couple of turns will probably be quickly. Prior, quiet, pretty quiet, no, not pretty quiet. What the hell is going on? Um, I could grapple already, but I'm gonna wait with that because, yeah, I don't want to risk stumbling upon uh, a few enemies up there, especially since nobody will be able to join him up there. So, yeah. And then, do we move a bit further already? Might actually move Christoph to the corner here okay. and see if there's anything on the side of the building. Doesn't seem like there is. So let's put everybody a bit closer then. Cedric, can you actually grapple up? Oh yeah, you can. That, that's interesting. Throw in the hook. How does that even work? Are you going through? Okay, that was actually pretty nicely done. Oh, hi. Is that... Okay, no. That was good. So... For some reason, he doesn't see us yet. Um, so let's put Benito up here too. Because he's, of course, the hacker. He's going to probably spot him then. Because I can't really move now. Yeah, there we go. So he just spots him. Uh, let's put Kistov a bit further over here. And apparently, it's just a turret. So I'm actually wondering if we even need to engage for now. Um, I could let Jazz go through the building, which would actually be handy because I do want to check if there's nothing inside of this place. So open up the door. Nothing in there, I think. Yeah, okay. So let's put Vinny on top here as well. Probably a bit closer, I think. This should be fine, but... Yeah, you know what? That should be fine. I'm actually going to put Gustav here already to just see on the other side of the building. Yeah, there we go. 
Ooh, I'm gonna have to take that back. That's an Archon immediately. So yeah, I'm just gonna put Jazz... Why isn't this... Is that a door or what is that? Never mind, then I'm just gonna put Jazz over there. And put everybody else on Overwatch, I think. There we go. So, Kistov is the only one that sees the three guys over there. So, as long as I don't trigger um, the turret with Kistov himself, that shouldn't be too bad. And now that we actually have the chance, let's try to hack the turret first. So, Haywire Protocol. We can draw a bit of fire. To us instead of uh, to the turret instead of us, and maybe that will work out. 56 to control the turret. I'm gonna try it. There we go. Control the turret. Very nicely done. So that's gonna probably activate the other group as well because the turret will be able to see them. Hacked. Did that even? Cons Ooh, wow. Seriously? That didn't even trigger. Okay, so that means I can put my snipers in position and then next turn we're gonna start shooting at the uh, Archon and the like. Oh yeah, I can't use Benito anymore, so Kistoff, I might actually put you a bit closer as well. Just so you now. could have a better position. If I put... Ooh, need to be Hold careful. On, are those? The, the containers, the trains... This entire facility. The aliens are still abducting people. From the looks of it, they may never have stopped after the invasion. Those containers look like they have self-contained power cells. It could be some kind of stasis system. It's possible at least some of those people might still be alive. So yeah, a lot of people that are still uh, captured and stacked like livestock on these trains. Um, I was going to put Ulrich over here before uh, Shannon Bradford cut me off. Um, I don't want to risk opening the door yet. No, I'm not going to yet. Um, just in case that they can see me. Although, if I'm looking at a line of sight here, I don't think they will. But I'm not going to take that risk. I'm just going to put Jazz on Overwatch. Uh, Ulrich as well. Then, um, yeah, Pistol Overwatch, why not? Overwatch the turret, and then everybody else as well. So the turret is still hacked. Gonna have to be careful with that. What? Why did we go down? Stuff is moving around. Okay, I think it's high time we start shooting at something. Um, the Archon is a prime target to just start off with, so... Although, if we could kill the trooper in one hit, that's an enemy less, of course. But the Archon, of course, has a very high defense. Could actually kill the... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's just try that with uh, Vinny first. Let's start it off with a shot to the trooper's face. There we go. Blammo! Six damage, that's not... Amazing, but never mind. Okay, so what are they going to do? Are they going to come forward? Because otherwise we're dealing with very long range. So the Archon is... Ooh. Can anyone see the Archon right now? That might be a problem. The Archon went over here, I think. Yeah, he's over here in the shadows, but you can't see him right now. So I'm gonna have to regain sight on that guy. Um, so I'm just gonna bust through the gate and put Jazz over. Ooh. Would I be able? I'm not gonna be able to hit him from over there. So I'm just gonna try and put him here. There we go. Oh shit! Okay. So a Codex and a Mutant join the fight. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna be able to deal with that, because I'm 
first off, the turret might actually be able to kill the trooper here. He has a flank shot on him, but first try the advanced trooper. Oh, there we go. Goodbye. You actually get a trophy if you kill someone with uh, a turret. Um, okay, do I get another shot? I think I... Yeah, okay. I get another shot. There we go. <laughs> and the turret just uh, performed a double kill. That was uh, very nicely done. So now I can use Kistov to get a bit closer. On the move. He shouldn't trigger anything, but can... Advent has expanded their rail network to touch every city center they've built. And this looks like the end of the line, at least for this area. Okay, so that's... Oh, and there's the Archon again. That's good. Because that means I can probably... Oh, no, I cannot. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to boost Benito up a bit. Because uh, I don't think... He can do a lot from over here. Let's just spread them out a bit so I can get even a little bit closer. Maybe even over here. Yeah, that's full cover. And he can get closer from over there. Um, next up, we need to take care of that Codex. And uh, yeah, that Muton. Um, so Vryer is the perfect candidate for that job. So I can actually boost you up. Might give us a better shot at the guys down there than if I put him just over here. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough shot. Even with the grenade launcher. So let's put him over here. Hopefully the higher ground will help him out a bit. And I'm actually wondering how much damage I do with the slash. Six to eight, so it won't kill the codex. And it most definitely will not kill the mutants. So I'm going to have to wait with that. And why the hell does Cedric not see anybody? He can't grapple to anything either. So that's out of the question. Um, Vryer. Let's try to put a plasma grenade down there. I'm not going to be able to. Yeah, I was afraid that would happen. Just gonna switch the camera around a bit. I'm not gonna be able to. That is annoying. So I can put one. That's stupid, because the grenade would probably just bounce off. Can I just go over here? No, I can't even reach. Damn it. Okay. No biggie. Just gonna have to make my play over here. So yeah, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna use Jazz's uh, mimic beacon. Can I? Yeah, okay. I can put it over here somewhere. And let's try and draw everybody out in the open here. That's not full cover, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll just put the mimic beacon over there. That should draw the attention of the muton and the codex. Okay, there we go. And then uh, I'm gonna hope that they run towards the uh, the mimic beacon over there, and then that should allow Cedric to get his kill zone off. Even let's do that. Just gonna go with kill zone. So yeah, just put a cone over there. Enhanced squad sight Overwatch in a cone of fire. Because I can't. Oh, I can actually get. Huh. I'm actually gonna do that. So there we go, the area is yours, and then... Do I put Kristoff closer as well? I think I should. Because I still haven't done anything about the... The Archon, but the Archon should also be drawn by the... The Mimic Beacon. There we go. So now the Codex, what is he going to do? Dirt is still hacked, so that might draw a bit of fire as well. And now we're not seeing what's happening. Please, game, show me. Show me. Okay, then. Don't. So he teleports right in the face of the Mimic Beacon. That's only four damage, which is really good. And then... I'm mostly worried about... Ooh, there we go. 
and I think, yeah, Cedric has armor-piercing round, so he might actually kill the... Oh, fuck off. Seriously. Higher ground and an open shot. So he's gonna hit him, yeah. That should still make him alive, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. And then the Archon is gonna go as well, and that triggers another... Ooh, Ulrich's overwatch shot. One damage, and I think Cedric should also fire, if I'm not mistaken. So Battle Frenzy. Is he gonna go over there? No, he's just gonna fire. Okay, so that takes care of the Mimic Beacon, but now we have a clear shot. Okay. So that saved our lives, because yeah, it really did. Um... Hmm. Next up, first use the turret to fire at whatever he can fire at. Um, I think I'm gonna try and use that on the Archon, even if it's 55% shots. That was actually a hit. He dodged it, but it was a hit. So two damage, and then do that. Well, do, just do that again. Oh, and that was another hit. Another dodge, but another hit. So that's five damage by the turret. Which is actually really, really good. Um, I'm just going to put uh, Ulrich closer and pop a grenade right in the middle of the Muton and the Codex over there. Positive. So there we go. Grenades away, bombs away, whatever you want to call it. And just blast everything in the vicinity to smithereens. So that would remove, that should remove the cover of the Codex as well. There we go. And now we have two lightning reflex shots, lightning hands shots, I um, should say. And that should be able to kill off the... Well, the, the one... So that... The, the car blew up. So yeah, so we can kill the mutant and the one Kodak split. So where's he gonna go? Oh, right next to Kristoff. He's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna reveal them. Yeah, indeed, they're onto you. Um, hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But, before anything else, Lightning Hands, 100% on the Codex and 90% on the Mutant. So I'm gonna leave... Yeah, I'm gonna leave it on the on the Codex, because yeah, 100% is 100%. Lightning Hands, I'm at... Ooh! Yeah, because I gave Vinny the blue screen rounds, and apparently Codexes are robotic enemies. That's interesting. So, Lightning Hands, goodbye! Eight damage with a simple pistol. So yeah, that's why I usually give blue screen rounds to uh, a sniper, because the lightning hand shots are amazing against uh, those guys. Um, can I actually? So that's eleven thirteen on the on the turret as well. So if the turret starts to be a problem, I can just shoot it in the face. Um, but I think the turret is actually going to expire next turn. Wonder if he immediately gets a shot as well. Don't think he does, but. Um, yeah, let's wait out with that and just put Cedric's lightning hands shot on the... Oh, the Codex still has four health. Wait a second. So let's do that on the Muton, so that if it hits, it kills him. There we go, critical hit, five damage. Thank you very much. Impressed yet? Yes, I'm kind of impressed. I find something here. Oh, and he even dropped loot. So, now two sniper shots at the Arkel, 96% chance. That should actually just do a lot of damage. Ah, another dodge. Another do freaking dodges. I only scratched him. Yeah, you only scratched him. That's true. Um, what are my shots at the Archon right now? 72. We still have Jazz as well. So if I put Jazz over here... I can actually do it a sword attack. 76% chance, but I do 6 to 8 damage. I'm not gonna risk that, because the shotgun actually can do a lot of that as well. Yes, you're changing your position. I kind of told you to do that. Um, so he's on high ground, that's what those green arrows mean. Then we have a sniper shot at the Codex or at the Archon. I can actually kill the Codex with a grenade right now, so I'm not gonna try and shoot at the Codex because I'm just wanna just wanna get rid of that Archon. Come on, hit him. Ooh, that was a solid hit. Eight damage. Thank you very much, Finny. 
So that should allow us to kill the uh, the Archon in one hit. Uh, this. Oh, and Minito is still here as well. Hello there. Hello. Kind of forgot you were there for a second. Um, so yeah, this is this is just over, right? Um, if I can, I'm gonna use combat protocol on the Archon. So that's gonna kill him immediately. If the game doesn't crash, thank you very much, because it kind of froze there for a second. Don't wanna have that happening. And zap! Goodbye. And then we have. Well, you know what? Um, I kinda like to finish it off with sword attacks. I really like to do that. So 100%, that's actually really, really nice. And goodbye. Uh, Eight damage, thank you very much. I don't want to hear it anymore that blade masters aren't handy, because they are very handy. Thank you, Jazz. Um, so that's full cover, that's full cover, that's full cover. So if I just put Kistov over here... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to risk it. He's still hacked, but I'm just going to take him out in a second. So the camera always goes down when he's signaling that... I think it's a mech that I hear moving around. Yeah, okay. Um, before we start shooting at the uh, turret, I'm gonna start moving people down. Especially wanna get that uh, loot over there. So if I can get someone down there, that would be handy. Benito, you can get inside of the loot zone immediately. There we go, let's get that. There we go. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Weapon upgrades? Ah, two Elegant Tours. Okay. We haven't had that many weapon upgrades, actually. Just gonna move him. Oh, maybe not, because that might explode, actually. Um, let's put everybody down, at least, so... They can actually act if something happens. Um... Vinny, yeah, you know what? It's high time we deal with that turret. Um, but let's put Cedric out of harm's way first. He can't grapple to anything. Just let's put him down in the uh, old-fashioned way by foot. By dropping down from a two-story building. Because that's not going to hurt his knees. Um, let's put Kistov uh, closer. You know what? I'm going to wait for that. I'm just going to put them on Overwatch. Fire at the third. 83% chance. There we go. Goodbye. That that just took it out, right? That just... Yeah, you're, you're down, right? Are you down? I think you're down. Why did you move after you were down? Yeah, the third is down. Okay. So... That's going to be an Overwatch shot. And that's all going to be Overwatches. I'm going to start moving towards the train here. Oh shit. And now I've done it. Or not. That's just a cutscene for the black side. Never mind. Because it's kind of a big building. Not that we didn't see that already. You would have been blind. You, I, I'm assuming because the fog of war always hides buildings. But I mean, you would see this building from a mile away. Ulrich, my man. Let's put you over here. Yeah, he saw something. I can't move my cursor. There's the other turret. I know what I'm gonna do with that. Just snipe it off immediately. That was a horror sound. A psycho noise. Uh, Vinny, now that you have those blue screen rounds, can you actually use them to your advantage? 59%. Because he's actually even higher than I am now, right now. But, let's try this anyway. Flammo! I saw that bullet going the right way immediately. That was great. That was amazing. So yeah, that wasn't that wasn't really a big threat. Okay, a few turns later, nothing happened, but we got a look inside. Test subjects for some sort of weapon, perhaps. Looks more like a refinery to me, Doctor. Once we get our hands on that sample, we'll know for sure. So we need to get that sample. Uh, I don't think we actually saw any enemies, so that's just a cutscene for that. So they're processing uh, human, well, live bodies, I think, and doing 
well, we don't really know what they're doing with it, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna just move uh, further and I'll uh, get back to you when anything happens. Oh, there we go, didn't even take that long. There's uh, a few enemies out in the wild on the left side of the building. And that's a sniper shot. And that was a complete miss. And I think we have a few extra Overwatch shots. That's only an officer for now. And there we go, a mech. A mech and a shield bearer, I think. Or is that a lancer? Because lancers have... Yeah, they have that armor now. Um, so yeah, I don't think that's too big of a problem. Let's take care of those guys first. Oh, did we get... Oh, shit. I think we just triggered another batch. Yeah. Two mutants inside of the building. Were they just gonna jump? Ooh, three mutants. Never mind. So, okay. Two pulls. Um, I'm gonna have to deal with this. Um... I think we can get Ulrich in a better position to lob a grenade in there, if I'm not mistaken. So let's put Ulrich over there. Pull Jazz away a bit from the door, because I don't want to open it now. Especially since we have six enemies on the on the map. Um, let's wait with your turn. Um, we're gonna try... And lob that grenade first. Really want to do that first. Because yeah, I want to blow up some aliens. Um, plasma grenade. I think we should get that. I think that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Here we go. Ulrich, give those three mutants hell. And blast away their armor. That's even more important. Bam! So three flank shots. That means they're wide open. Um... But now, what else can we do? What else can we do? Um, one thing where I can grapple with Cedric, actually. Over there. Can, ooh, that is a better position. Yeah, I want to grapple over there. I know it's without cover, but it's pretty much out of reach of everything. And I actually have a lightning hand shot at the officer from here. Which is interesting. Even if it's at his feet, it's something at least. Yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, saw that. Saw that clearly that you didn't have that. Um, I could, however, reload you. There we go. Reloaded. And then we could. Ooh, 100% on the Mac with armor piercing round, so that might actually kill him. So, yeah, why not, eh? Why not? Ooh, seven damage. That was close. Close, but no cigar. Um, gas grenading the area won't really help us all that much. And I'm wondering if I can actually... If I pull you back... Would you be able to hack the Mac? Hack the Mac. Right now. Because uh, I could kill him with a shock, but... Let's check that out. Because if we're able to hack that thing, that means we can actually shoot once with it. And then they might actually shoot at it and not at us. Which is really, really good. 56%. I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah. That was really, really nicely done. A very nice hack. So now we have control over this unit. Wink, wink. Siamo dentro. And the Mac has a very, very cool ability. There we go. All ours. Reprogrammed to our uh, needs. Yeah, nicely, nicely done. I really like Benito's skills. He's he's really, really good. Um, what else do we have? We could try a shot at the officer, but I don't think that's really what we need right now. Um, we still need to take care of the mutants. So if I'm able to... Can I actually get in there and throw... Can I kill one of those? Yeah, okay, so the back mutant I can actually kill. So if I put Kristoff over here... No he's out in the boss. open for everybody on the left, but... It should allow me to use a gas bomb. And those have a wider radius even without the grenade launcher. 
And that should poison every mutant in the building. And that kills the back one and that gives me another action, I think. Wow, five damage, holy sh... Shamoli. So now we have Implacable. And we can pull back a bit. So let's put him yeah, a bit out of uh, sight of everybody. We could just simply use another grenade. No, they're, they're too far from each other, so that's not going to work. Um, what happens if I put you over here? I'm going. Can I actually get a shot in at those mutons? I can get a shot in at one, so I have a lightning hand shot. And that takes care of him immediately. Well, that is handy. Um, what else do we have? So now we could still put them on Overwatch with the pistol shot. Okay. Then we have Jazz. Could actually put Jazz on the corner. I'm just going to put him on Overwatch as well. It's shot. Ooh. What? How do you even see that? That's a pretty sharp angle. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. What? What else do we? Wait. Can't I use the Mac? Ah. I can use turrets immediately after hacking them. Why not? Ooh, that might be a problem. Just gonna use the shot. No, I'm not gonna use the shotgun. Just gonna put him on Overwatch. If anybody moves, he's dead. I hope. So the Mac is hacked. So I'm gonna hope at least one of them shoots at the Mac. Not that Benito. Ooh, he's marking him. That means extra aim bonuses for him. And then, of course, he's dead. Oh, wow. Nine damage. That might actually be... Wait, the mech can't shoot at him. The Lancer won't shoot either, so... And that's the shotgun overwatch. That misses completely. I hope that Lancer doesn't shoot at Cedric. Oh, he's gonna just... He missed the mech. He missed the mech. Oh, that's amazing. Um... What's the Muton gonna do? Oh shit, I quite kind of forgot about the Muton. Pistol Overwatch. In the face. No, not in the face. Oh, 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 oh. Please don't do anything. Suppression. That's actually really good. I don't know what you're talking about, Ulrich. That was really good. Okay. Uh, we're still alive. Jesus Christ. Um, barely, but we're still alive. Um... For some reason, that officer stays over there. Um, I'm gonna have to be careful now. Can I reach that officer, actually? Ooh. Can I skull mine the officer from him? Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, that is so risky. That is so risky. First, gonna try something else. Um, where's the mech? There's the mech. Because the mech has a very cool ability. He can actually target an area with an explosive missile attack. So yeah, look, look at that. Just gonna barrage the hell out of this uh, officer over here. Just take take out every... What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Can you just... Yeah, something... I can see it. There we go. Right on top of his little spot over there. And... Missiles. That doesn't take out the tree, sadly. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take care... Of First the muton. Gonna first have to kill the muton. Um, sniper shot. 57 for some reason. Uh, and a pistol shot. What's that? 40. Even worse. So the suppression is for Ulrich. So Ulrich is now suppressed by the muton. Which means that if I just kill him with somebody else, that should... Is he actually behind cover? What cover is he behind? Oh. Oh, you've made a grave mistake, my friend. You've made a really, really big mistake. Can I actually just kill him from here? No, 61. So let's put Jazz a bit closer. There we go. And let's just... What's that other flank shot? The officer is flanked? Oh, that's gonna be a field day for Cedric for his revenge. Blammo! Why the fuck did you miss that? Why? I want to get rid of that shooty McShooty face guy. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, I don't want to head inside of the building. I really don't want to head inside of the building. Um, still need to be careful because we need to kill a lot of these guys. Let's check. That's a 100% shot. 
Um, I think I'm gonna try my hand at revenge. Because Benito still has his grenade, if I'm not mistaken. So, if this doesn't crit, no biggie. But I think Cedric is, is really pissed right now. Yeah, he's really, really pissed. He didn't like that one bit. You know that was good. Yeah, I know that was good, because, yeah, he didn't like that one bit. Um, now we have a pistol, pistol overwatch. Um, I'm not gonna do that. Since you can't see any of the enemies, I'm just gonna put you behind cover here. Because, yeah, that's, that's probably the safest thing to do. Uh, Kristoff, can you put um, that mutant out of his misery? Because, yeah, he's gonna have to die. He's gonna have to die. I mean, you're gonna have a 100% shot from there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, 87 it is. Thank you. That was suppression removed. Yes, indeed. That was kind of weird how those Not icons overlapped. So, mutants down. So, the only guy left is that Lancer. So I'm just gonna put Kristoff back behind his safe little corner over here. I can handle that. Vryer, my man. My man. My man. What are you going to do? Um, could actually... Yeah, give it a shot. You might actually hit the... Uh, no, not the mech. The mech is on our side for now. So let's try uh, our hands at the at the Lancer. Probably gonna miss, but... Oh, never mind. Sorry, I doubted you. Sorry, I doubted you, Ulrich. I shouldn't do that. I really shouldn't do that. I think... Wait a second. So yeah, we have plenty of options to kill that thing, but I think we still have a shock available. Yeah, on my protocol. Yeah, I'm gonna kill... That Was that what you said? Because, you know what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be stupid. I'm just gonna put Benito over here in the open. If there are any more enemies, I'm gonna be screwed. But I don't think there are. Probably only inside, so... And then we're gonna, yeah, just blow them up together. Because, yeah, those guys... I don't really need the mech after this, though. Yeah, it calls friendly damage, I know. Because the mech really isn't on our side. Only for a few turns, so goodbye. He did his job. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Uh, and now... Do... Um, I want to I wanna move Vinny a bit closer. Okay, and that's it apparently, because yeah. We spend all our actions on killing everything. And I really don't want to lose Cedric. So please, please, I don't... Oh, what the fuck? Are those normal troopers? Why? That was... For some reason, those troopers are just the normal kind of troopers. Who is that on the Mac? I will never know. Oh, it was on the Mac, but he kind of missed. But it's good to know that you can hit him. Because um, the soldiers are a bit... I think they're a bit scared of the poison. Um, can't blame them, because if they would walk through that, they're going to have a bad day. Um, I'm going to assume that's everything inside the building. Because um, I know there's a few that spawn in after we get the vial. But we're going to be very careful about that, that fact. Um, trooper. Trooper. Seriously? I know there's a mech in there as well, so let's put Vinny over here, because with the EMP rounds, he can actually do a lot of damage with the pistol as well. So 89 damage. It can't crit, though. So how close are you together? Not close enough. Not close enough. All right, all right, all right. Let's fire at the trooper first, then. He's in full cover, but we're very high up. Might actually, might actually work. Yeah, and it did. Goodbye, trooper. Don't know where those basic yeah, troopers yeah. are coming from. So that was that from above, so that means that I can safely reload. And then probably start to move you. No, I'm gonna just keep you here until those guys are dead. I don't want to risk it. I really, really don't want to risk it. So, Benito, let's put you behind cover again, because, yeah, that wasn't really smart of me, but... Um, trooper 60%, mech... A respectable 80 percent um let's put let's put jazz a bit closer those are all half covers so let's put you in the closest one you can find uh that's christoph that's christoph that's not jazz so that should be even better you can only see the mech but the mech is pretty much dead um i could run and gun and try to take out the it's actually not that bad of an idea unless there are other enemies in the room, but I don't think... I'm, I'm willing to guess that there aren't. 
So I'm gonna put Kristoff over here. That should give him a flank shot on the trooper. Okay, yeah, that's just a vile. Stop. Stop making me panic. Stop making me panic. Don't do that. And I was right. 100% shot on the trooper. Goodbye. Yeah, that must have hurt. That must have really, really hurt. Uh, then... Huh. Ulrich even has the MP grenade left, so yeah, I think that mech is kind of dead. But let's first try that with a pistol shot. That was 7 damage, even with the armor. And the hack defense is decreased because of the blue screen rounds. That's actually... I never... Oh, that's an effect of the blue screen rounds I never even knew about. So... Hitting a robot with blue screen rounds actually removes, lowers his hack defense? That is interesting. Um, well, Jazz, I I said you, you were doing shit already, but now you can actually do shit. Shoot him. Shoot him. 94%. Don't miss that. Yeah, 10 damage in the face. Okay. Okay. So that's pretty much everything, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Let's put you behind full cover now that we have the chance to do so. Just better, better safe than sorry. Um, Ulrich, let's get you a bit closer and reload, why not? And then Cedric, I'm just going to start moving you down. Because we want to evacuate as fast as we can. So, as I expected, no more enemies. I did have another crash uh, in between, but uh, I kind of have an escape plan right now, so... We're gonna try and blow open the wall uh, of the back of the building over here. So, uh, more presumably this one. That would be that would be nice if that would work. So there we go. Grenade in the back of the building. There we go. And that made a nice hole for Kristoff to go through. And next turn we're gonna grab the. Uh, yeah, the thing, the thing. We're gonna grab the, the vial over here. So I'm just gonna put him a bit closer. No problem, so you can boss. get that furthest, uh, furthest tile in the next turn. And everybody else I'm gonna just boost up. Been on uh, there we go. Because there are no Seems more terrible. enemies anymore. So, uh, well, unless until we actually get, to, uh, get the vial, then saying? there will be another drop. But for now, let's just boost everybody up. Right, neatly next to each other, and then just put Kistov on Overwatch. So, absolute silence. The walls are gonna break. And now we're gonna take the vial. I'm going. There we go. And, yeah, just take it. Take vial. Thank you very much. That is mine. Black side vial. There we go. Guessing that's not water in there. Any readings? No signs of radioactivity. No significant energy signatures of any kind. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. Well, that's very friendly of the aliens. Always found that a bit weird. There's some kind of green shield around it, but it's not harmful. So they're gonna arrive, are they? Um, I'm just gonna boost Kistov up as far as we can. Um... Not that far, but at least Whatever it's something. And then everybody else will be on Overwatch. I'm gonna put them in a bit more favorable positions. Um, so this... Just so if they move, they're gonna die. Um, just gonna put you over here, because I do want to get inside of the circle, of course. Um, those guys all get in the circle, and those are snipers, so I don't want to... Lose that sniper overwatch shot. Let's put Benito over here. Ulrich over here on the corner. Uh, and then everybody on overwatch. Covering for uh, Kristoff, actually, because he doesn't he doesn't look so good. Um, I'm actually going to extract Cedric already. That might not be such a bad idea. No problem, boss. Because he's, he's really, really in a really bad shape. So I don't want to risk him getting any more uh, shots in. So there we go, evac. Because that's something you can do. You can uh, evac soldiers while the rest of your soldiers stay on the field. Uh, and then we need to overwatch as well. So let's drop him in. Because there's a, a big surprise waiting for those guys. Doesn't look like it's much either. Um, shield bear, lancer, and officer, yeah. 
It looks like that's it. And they're gonna get uh, something in their faces. If I don't kill them, I don't kill them. I'm not gonna risk anything more, so uh, they're gonna get shot a bunch. There we go, that misses. Not that bad. And then a sniper shot, six damage. And then seven damage from Vryer. That's actually not that bad. And then Jazz. Through the... That was a kill. I think that... that did you just kill the officer through a wall? Yeah, he did. He did. So now I technically could still kill those guys if I wanted to. But yeah, there's not really a reason to do that. Because I think... If I use run and gun, that's why I chose Kristoff for this. Um, choose run and gun, I can actually get into the evac zone. And I get another action, so I can actually evac out of there. Yeah. There we go. Evac. I'm going. And then everybody else, I think... It's not worth the risk. I could probably easily kill them, but... Yeah, it's not worth the risk, so... Uh, let's just quickly check that we can get everybody in. But I don't think that will be a problem. And yeah, that's not going to be a problem. So there we go. Inside of the evac zone. Evac Jazz. Evac Ulrich. One of these days I'm going to just misclick and get someone killed. Evac Vinny. And then Evac Benito, he, who did a really, really good job on this mission. Goodbye, Advent. Goodbye. Never to see you again. Well, we're going to see you a lot, but... Nobody's dead, Firebrand. Nobody's dead, so everybody survived. Only one soldier got wounded. This was a place no living human being was ever intended to see. Happy as I am to see it gone. Something tells me the aliens won't take this lying down. Yeah, because uh, 18 enemies, 23 turns, mostly because I had to move to the back of the building, but continue. So they did spawn a lot of stronger enemies than I expected, but uh, Vinny dealt most damage with his uh, blue screen round, so that was a really good decision. He made most attacks as well. The Mimic Beacon was most under fire, because only Cedric. I made a super mistake with putting him uh, up on top of that roof. Uh, but yeah, that's that got them almost killed. But uh, And Ulrich moved furthest, which is actually special, because yeah, a Grenadier doesn't usually move that much. But, back to base. So probably a pretty long episode, although this kind of took me an hour and a half, but with editing that's probably going to end up an, an hour long episode anyway. It look easy out there, Commander. All thanks to you. And not really making it look easy, because Cedric just dropped to the floor, but uh, Ulrich, promotion. Promotion, promotion. Volatile mix. That's something I've been really looking forward to. Volatile mix. Your grenades deal plus two damage. All grenades, an extra two damage, which is just amazing. I mean... Look at how how cool of a, a shots we can do with the grenades now. Imagine what we can do with 7 damage possibly on the normal grenades. And then chain shot is the other one. Take a shot with an aim penalty of minus 15. If you hit the target, you take another shot on the target automatically. So yeah, um, grenadiers aims are not really that good. So if you even take another reduction and you need to hit to get another possible shot that's not gonna really uh, help out that much but volatile mix is just a passive buff uh, and it's a really really good passive buff so we're gonna go with volatile mix there we go and then we have uh, jazz's promotion so that we're gonna take um that's actually an interesting one because shadow strike would be really cool uh, especially with swords but uh yeah, I think we're just going to go for Shadow Stab so he does not trigger Overwatch or Reaction Fire. So, uh, Shadow Stab. There we go. And then, we have now a lot of corpses, probably. The apparent product of the oh no, right. Facility. I imagine it will take considerable time and resources to uncover the true purpose of this substance. So we did get another... For a complete analysis immediately, so we did get another scope for some reason, and to a Lirium course. Uh, the black side file and the codex brain, which is weird because you usually don't get any loot from uh, killed enemies uh, When you extract out like that, so yeah, 
Continue. Having now seen the inner workings of the Black Site facility, the outcome is perhaps even more troubling than I had expected. It is clear the aliens have undertaken a gruesome task. I will leave this matter for you to investigate, Commander. So as you can see, we reduced the Avatar progress by one, which isn't actually all that much. But yeah, it's a step in the right direction. And we reduced the timer again. So we have Cedric in the med bay. Um, I'm gonna do something that you might not think I would do. I'm gonna remove the engineer here. So taking it even longer for uh, Cedric to recover. But I really need that engineer over here. Um, workshop. We do need that in the workshop. Do we need it in the power relay? Plus five power, yeah, we do need it. We can't remove him over there. So let's use that engineer in the alien machinery over here. There we go. And there we go. And then we have... If I upgrade this, I get another gremlin probably. Allowing an additional engineer to be staffed here. That's not really... That's not really what I want to do. Um... So yeah, six days for clearing the alien machinery. Why is that important, you might ask? I do want to put down the shadow chamber really, really quickly to start reducing the avatar progress even more. Um, you know, uh, I probably wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for your father. He was uh, something of a miracle worker. Getting the Avengers' power back online was a miracle. I'm not entirely sure how he deciphered their system, but we'd still be half buried in the sand if he hadn't. He gave everything he had to get the ship running. But he didn't live long enough to see her fly. We owe you both a debt of gratitude. You can honor his memory by using this ship to destroy the aliens wherever we find them. You'll get no argument here. I'm actually gonna check how much power does the shadow chamber cost. Oh, zero. That's actually really good. Um, facility costs no power, which is great. Which means that I can just safely go to the bridge and start scanning a bit more. There we go. Reduce the avatar counter by one. Because it's a white overlay. To prove resourceful, Commander. Although you have dealt a blow to the alien's work by destroying the black site, there is still much to be done. Um, I think it's high time we just boosted up to West Africa so we have another alien facility available if the need arises because that's going to be very very important because uh, we only reduced it by one uh, so let's just go to West Africa and just make contact immediately I'm gonna forfeit the soldier I'm gonna forfeit the alien alloys we don't really need all that we still have a lot of alloys from the uh, the supply rate so yeah, we're gonna go to West Commander, Africa. As of right now, we don't have Shit. enough intel to get a solid bearing on the local resistance forces in that area. Shit, so we're short one intel. That is actually... Ooh. That is annoying. Because um, I could spend more intel to go to East Africa, because that's gonna be only 40 probably. Um, but that... Doesn't give us a boost, actually. Interesting. Because I would want to go to West Africa and place another radio relay over there. Can we actually get intel? I don't think we can. Because the black market you can only... Oh, maybe at Resistance HQ. I'm just going to check Resistance Ready HQ really quickly. Sector one, the Arctic. That might be a solution. Um, sometimes you get caches of intel from the Resistance HQ. So let's open Welcome, that up. Commander. Uh, I could go for gather intelligence and just do it like that. Uh, which is actually what I'm gonna do, I think. So let's take the scanning bonus, gathering intel. And we got five intel. Oh, we got five intel immediately. That is amazing. That is amazing. We're going to West Africa. Hello, boys! Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Totally by design, Shen. Totally by design. I really, really meant it to be that way. So, making contact. To establish local Ooh. Regional contact. That was fast. New targets acquired. Guerrilla operations. Um, yeah, let's review the targets. I don't have any intel to uh, reveal the hidden event. So I don't really know what this is in particular. But we 
do need another engineer. I can... Ooh, Intel. Intel. Can we live with an, without another engineer? We might. We might. I think I'm focusing too much on the engineers. And uh, we need some more Intel, so... Recover item from Advent Train. I hate those missions, but... Yeah, we're gonna go for the Intel. Setting Let's go back to West Asia. West God Asian damn it. Because if we can get Africa done... We can, we have a link to the next area that also has, uh, via, yeah, South, South America also has a, a facility, so, uh, apparently, yeah, Cedric is still in the med bay, so we're gonna have to do that without him, and I think since it's a difficult mission, I'm gonna swap out a few of our main cast for, yeah, some rookies. So let's remove Benito. Yeah, what am I doing? We're moving Benito. And put Yang in, because we haven't been using Yang so far. Um, so she's a Grenadier as well. Uh, let's see if we can't boost her output a bit. Her loadout, if the game would load. Thank you very much. Weapon upgrades. That's only the scope, probably. Yeah, let's remove. Let's not do that. But let's check out the loadout. Do we have anything special? We have the AP rounds. Um, I could give... Yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna give Ulrich the uh, armor-piercing rounds. Which is gonna come really come in really handy so he can shred and even ignore armor as well. So that's really, really handy. Uh, then give the extra armor to Yang. There we go. Extra armor, nanoscale vest. So 10 health should give her a bit more survivability. And that's pretty much it, I think, because Jazz still needs a few more upgrades. Yang can get a few promotions. Vinny is also practically a rookie, but we're gonna give him the spider suit. Uh, that's right. So you lose your armor, uh, your uh, ammo types, but not your armor. That's really, really weird. So let's just give him the spider suit. And then let's swap the grenade out with the blue screen rounds. There we go. I actually have another flashbang grenade as well. Could be handy for codexes. So let's just give Yang the flashbang. No, we're not gonna do that. Just gonna give her grenades because uh, she's only gonna be useful for that for now uh, because of her low aim. Uh, and everything else is gonna be fine. We're gonna have our healer back, you, because that was a bit of a problem in previous episode in the in the previous mission. Uh, but yeah, finally a woman in the team. Didn't really have that one uh, for the, uh, right now, so uh, before now. Jesus Christ, I can't talk anymore. So that means uh, I'm going to end this very long episode with uh, this lovely squad, this very colorful squad as well. Even without Benito's bright blue armor, this is still a very colorful squad. But without further ado, I'm going to take a little break because I really, really need it after this mission. Uh, so thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye.